Let's look at completing the square. That is, we're going to take an equation of a parabola that's in factored form and convert it to vertex form. We're starting with this equation, y equals 2x squared minus 20x plus 5. The first thing we want to do is factor out the coefficient of the x squared from both the first and second terms only. So factoring a 2 out of 2x squared leaves x squared, and negative 20x divided by 2 leaves negative 10x. Only the first two terms get factored. The last term is just left at the end. The next thing we want to do is figure out what we're supposed to use to complete the square. We do that by writing down the x term's coefficient, which I call xtc. In this case, the number in front of the x is negative 10. We take that number and divide by 2. When we divide by 2, from negative 10 we get negative 5. And lastly, we square that number that we divided by. In this case, we ended up with negative 5. We square that to get positive 25. Okay, but why did we do all that? Well, it turns out if you do that correctly, that is, take the number in front of x, divide it by 2 and square it, you can add that final square number on to create a perfect square. That is, this square, 25, when added on to x squared minus 10x, you now have a perfect square. These three terms will factor perfectly. But if we add on 25, we have to take away 25 to keep everything equal to what it was before. And we can't forget that plus 5 that we had at the beginning. Okay, let's clarify. What did I mean when I said these first three terms make a perfect square? I mean it turns out if you take the number in front of x, divide it by 2, and square it, these first three terms, the x squared minus 10x plus 25, will now equal exactly x minus 5 squared. That is, if you expanded x minus 5 times x minus 5, you'd get exactly this back. So that's great. But we have to take care of this negative 25. That is, it used to be inside these brackets. Now we're putting it outside the brackets because we completed the square. We made a perfect square. So the minus 25 comes out of the brackets, which means it had to get multiplied by 2. And we add 5 on to the end because it was always there. And we're almost done. We have the 2 in front. We have x minus 5 squared. And the last thing is just to simplify. Minus 25 times 2 is 50, negative 50. And negative 50 plus 5 gives you negative 45. And so we have our answer. When we take the vertex form, y equals 2x squared minus 20x plus 5, and complete the square, we end up with the factored form, y equals 2x minus 5 squared minus 45. We can even see the vertex now, the vertex of the parabola, the same parabola, they both have the same equation, is 5 and negative 45, remembering to switch the sign of the x value.